Yo, dude, you won't believe this. I just found this lady on WhatsApp who's selling NCLEX questions and answers. Wait, on WhatsApp? You mean that Facebook messaging app? Yeah, dude. I just sent her $1,000. I'm about to send her another 1000 after I pass. Wait, what? Hey guys, welcome back to Nurse Janks. Hope you all are doing well. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about something weird that I noticed recently. So I was looking at one of my videos, which is talking about Hearst versus U World, and the video has about 4.8 thousand views, which is not nothing, but it's also not my most popular video by any means. Those have a lot more views. Not to poo poo my own video, I know 4.8 thousand views is not nothing. It's, uh, it's not bad, but my channel is on the smaller side, and if you guys want to help me grow, then definitely subscribe down below. I'd appreciate that very much. And I realized that there was one comment towards the top that was getting a whole lot of traffic kind of disproportionate to the numbers you might expect. So the comment when I first realized it was about 12 hours ago and in that short amount of time it had already gotten 35 comment replies and 26 thumbs ups. So I was really curious like wow is this like the best comment of all time like what's going on here. So I looked at it and no offense to the original poster of this comment if it was organic you know I'm sure it was a lovely comment however it just didn't really add up considering the views of the video versus the amount of traction this one comment was getting. And so something just was seeming a little fishy and pro tip guys if it smells fishy don't go there. Anyways. So the comment originally said, they say third time's the charm, I am officially a nurse. For all my repeat test takers, don't give up and don't be discouraged. Okay, that's a nice comment. Uh, seriously, that's a nice comment. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, and it's nothing weird just by itself. But we look at the amount of replies and stuff and it just is odd. So one comment is interesting. It said, I failed three times. I lost money to scams and reviews that never helped. But the major thing is I never lost hope. Okay, that's interesting just because they said something about scams which is, I don't know, it's almost like setting the scene for what's coming next, all right? So the next thing they said is, I'm sorry for your plight, my friend, but I was once in your shoes before and I was recommended to Miss Virginia Gomez and that's how I passed. Someone else said, thanks to my aunt who introduced me to Miss Virginia, I'm really grateful. So now I've heard this name twice. All right, then we go down and they said, oh, the NCLEX exams won't bother you or be a problem if you work with someone like Miss Virginia. I am a living testimony of Miss Virginia. She's helped me achieve my dream of becoming a licensed nurse. And then I've been seeing positive remarks about the same woman on Facebook too. Please, how good is she? Hey, with her help, my wife made her exams without much stress. I'm glad finally passed NCLEX. That's another issue right now. We're starting to get into some broken English, but so far it hasn't been too bad, but usually if you have a lot of broken English, it's kind of a hint to me that you might have a spam thing going on, so I'm getting really skeptical. How can this particular woman be reached? Next one, she's available on WhatsApp. Next one, here's the number to WhatsApp. And then, oh, I think I've heard about her too. I made it through her too. She works with the National Council of State Board of Nursing, NCSBN, as an IT engineer for the board database. Okay, what the f So now they're saying that this person works for the NCSBN, First off, it, weird, why on earth would she be related to IT and yet somehow helping people with the NCLEX? The, she works with the database? What are you telling me? She has the answers and the questions to the official NCLEX? How does this work, please? I'm really interested in working with her. I'm tired of failing. Oh, I subscribed $2,000 for the questions and answers, but paid 1000 before and after, and then I studied the questions and answers she provided and was shocked to see the same questions on the day I took my exam. She's truly a genius. Or, she's a fraud, or she's a criminal. So, okay, this is enough. It goes on. It keeps talking about Miss Virginia, Miss Virginia, Miss Virginia, Miss Virginia. So at this point, I'm like, something is really, really weird here. I got red flags going off all over the place in my head that this is a scam. So I contacted the NCSBN myself and I said, hey, I'm hearing an awful lot about some person named Miss Virginia and I want to know what you all think about this. Have you heard of this person? Does this person work for you? What is going on here? So basically they said, hey, thank you for your email. Is it possible for you to send a link to the main group and post, including screenshots if possible, so we can take further action? The NCSBN is aware of individuals, some posing as NCSBN employees, offering leaked NCLEX questions, among other fraudulent claims. Be warned that these individuals are not offering a legitimate service or information. Engaging with them puts your personal information at risk. Thank you again for your assistance with this matter. So I replied back, I gave them the video link um, and took some screenshots of all these posts talking about Miss Virginia. And here's what they had to say. The posts and individuals you have referred do not originate from an NCSBN sanctioned account. Additionally, their affiliation to NCSBN is not valid. We will reach out if any additional information is needed. 
Should you see any other suspicious posts in the future, please report them to NCSBN by calling the NCLEX Test Security Group here or emailing here. Thank you again for bringing this to our attention so we can take further action. So basically they're saying, look, if this is not coming from an official NCSBN account, if they're trying to say, I work with the NCSBN, but they're literally not stated as the NCSBN account, it's not valid. Guys, don't fall for this. Every time you see WhatsApp, you should be thinking, wow, that's probably not real. Um, you know, why on earth would I have to wire somebody money through WhatsApp versus other stuff? And you know, a good rule of thumb too is what I also tried to do for this Miss Virginia person. I tried to Google them, I tried to find them on Facebook, and I really came up with absolutely nothing. And I feel like anybody who has a review program is gonna be at least findable online in some way. You know, even if they're not the most popular person, they're gonna have something, like a website, or a Facebook page, or a YouTube channel, anything, something, guys. This person had nothing, they were like a ghost probably because they're not real, probably because they're running a scam on WhatsApp. So when you start seeing broken English like, hey, I help you pass NCLEX, send me much money through WhatsApp, don't do it. Guys, it's a scam, the NCSBN has confirmed as much, it's a scam, don't do this. Even if it wasn't a scam, guys, if this person honestly did work for the NCSBN, which I was possibly concerned that they did, because you know, sometimes employees do criminal things, right? This person could have worked there and actually took the questions and answers and was selling them on like the black market, essentially. For, for money, and that would have been awful, but good news, they said that wasn't the case. I'm believing them that that's not the case, so hopefully it's not. But even if it was, guys, if you were participating in something like that, that is totally illegal, that could completely invalidate your NCLEX results. Your guys' license will be yanked if they ever found out you were involved in any kind of scam like that. So here's what I recommend. Put in the work, study a program, find one. I really like Hearst Review. I think they do a great job, not only giving you guys a review program, but also access to practice tests and lots of practice questions. Um, I think they do a great job for a great price, and I have discount codes for you all to save some money through them down below. Um, I think UWorld is okay, but they don't offer a money back guarantee like Hearst does, and I don't like that. I feel like that's pretty shady. I think if they stand by their product, they should absolutely have a money back guarantee. The point is, work hard at it, guys. Put in the effort, get a decent review program, study hard, have confidence in yourself, and at the end of the day, the statistics are on your side. Most people pass the NCLEX on the first try, about 90% of people. So, I mean, you're, you're going into this test, it's gonna be scary, it's gonna be stressful, but at the end of the day, the likelihood that you are gonna pass is very high. So yeah, guys, if you see any posts about WhatsApp, anything like that for like, you know, people offering NCSBN related like insider information, don't do it, it's a scam. You heard it here on Nerd Shanks. I'm trying to save you guys some money. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this was useful for you all. Don't participate in these scams, don't get caught up in it. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.